Hi guys, so here I have a package that I got yesterday from FedEx. I purchased something from digblink.com, some craft stuff. I mean some by it cost me a lot. But anyway, so let's get started. So I just opened that I haven't looked through inside yet and here is my invoice. And I actually ordered 78 stuff uh, from polymer clay to some X pigments and um the raisin, yep, epoxy raisin, and some of this. Sorry, arrange all the stuff so that you guys can see them easily. And this is the Per X powder. The Jaqua come in 14 gram. It costs about three dollar. And 14 gram can last you forever, I guess. And this is the mold release for the casting craft. I'm gonna use this on my raising project and this is the clear casting epoxy. It was like $8 or something. Much, much, much cheaper compared to Michael's. Michael's is really expensive. They don't really like to shop there. And this is the clay softener. now. Ouch! My thing fell. Okay. And this is the texture sheet. It was like $2 or something compared to Michael's. It was like, I don't know, three times the price. It comes in lace. And this is the mini cutter mini metal cutters like six dollars something i believe if i'm not mistaken and this is the big and band i've been wanting to try this like forever it's gonna like be fun for me to do different things on it because it can bend i think i can make bangles and you know stuff like that and i'm gonna show you guys my big shop i've never tried big shop before so i'm really excited to try this this is one of the cheapest brand out there after craft smart craft smart is like one dollar something and you can only find them in michael's and Michael's don't carry the Sculpey Firefly written here. <laughs> the big shop is about one dollar. I'm really curious to try it. I hope that it's good because it's cheap. So if it's good, I'm gonna buy more next time. But it doesn't come with a lot of color selections. I think the polymer clay they has a lot of color selection is um, Primo and Sculpey, especially Sculpey. And this is the elastic cord that I'm gonna use to do bracelets. And this is ultra light clay by Scalpy. I'm really excited to try this. This is about eight dollars which is like in Michael's sells like I don't know more than ten bucks. I'm really excited to try this because I'm going to use this on like jewelry so that it's not so heavy because when after they are big they float so that's the amazing thing about it. Yeah Cerny! I'm really excited to try Cerny because I've read great reviews about it and I have to admit they're kind of expensive it's kind of like $1.94 so after shipping is about $2 something and they don't have a lot of color selections again but um, I hope they are good because I don't like very hot clay I have a feeling this is going to be hard something like female I don't like female clay because they're really hot to conditions and it pisses me off so this is all. They don't have a lot of color selections, but they have some weird color. And this is called Verdigris. It has some glitter on it. I'm not quite sure you can see, but compared to a turquoise, it's kind of like lighter. I don't think camera can catch it, but anyhow. Um, yeah, and this is the Glamour, Glamour, Glamour Black, and this is the Armor White. And I'm really in love with the Primo Accents line. Uh, in Michael's, there's not many selections there. In I mean, the, all the latest and new arrival color mostly are not there yet. But I'm not quite sure what about your, I mean, the Michael's at your place. This is the magenta pearl, pearl, peacock pearl, purple pearl. The purple looks navy blue, but trust me, it's purple. My camera just take it as navy blue. But anyway, this is the bright green pearl. And I'm really excited about the translucent. This is just normal translucent. This is translucent blue, red, translucent yellow, translucent red, translucent green. So it's really cute and I love the antique gold, the gold. And comparing the gold with the Sculpey gold, there's a slight difference. This is more brownish kind of like tone and this is more like gold tone. And this is the 18 karat gold. See the difference between gold and 18 karat gold. And this is the bronze and this is the copper. And the rest here are all Primo Scalpy. And this is Sunshine. Gosh, Sunshine. And this is Wasabi. I really want to try Wasabi. It looks like a warmity kind of shrek color. Really cute. And that's about it. Uh, I think this is Turquoise. And this is Denim Jeans. Yeah, Denim Jeans. 
really awesome color and this is all the sculpey tree selections yep comparing the lime and the granny smith you can see this is the apple green color and this is more like a you know a neon green and compare the shrek one the wasabi and you can obviously see shrek so they do have kind of like a certain difference even though they look almost the same but yes they are definitely different so that's about it for the craft haul i don't really like to do haul video because i find it boring to people i don't know maybe other people don't think it's boring but for me showing people this i find maybe other people think it's stupid so i don't really do a lot of haul videos so this is just how it comes in the box the dickbling.com definitely check it out if you're living in Canada especially because craft stuff is crazy expensive you have um, coupon and things like that so yep and I plan to do a video after I try all the clays I'm gonna do a comparison between um, the polymer clays that I've tried from Big Shop to Craft Smart to Cheap Things to Serenit Primo Scalpy and Fimo I definitely think I've tried a lot of clay before except um Kato. Kato is really really expensive. I hope to try Kato clay one day. Uh so that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And before I go, I'd like to tell you guys something. This is definitely my favorite color now. It's the lacy lilac color. It's really really cute. I really in love with um pasta color if you can't tell. In Canada now it's still like summery kind of sometimes spring when it's cold but I know in the fashion industry now it's like kind of like a fall season but yeah trust me it's not fall yet here I'm not looking forward for fall because when fall comes they're really short and winter will come for like six months here so yeah winter is crazy cold here like minus minus 30 or 40 degrees so yeah I'm not excited about winter so this how it looks like really pretty and it's almost like the spring lilac Oh, so that's all for today and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. If you want to know anything, comment below and I'll get to you guys as soon as possible. Ciao! See you guys soon!